Hi. Hi. How can I help? Well, I was hoping you were going to give me a haircut today. Okay, and what's your name? Anina. And how do you spell that? Um. <laughs> <laughs> Hands, mm? but but not. But not. <laughs> no, but I'm kind of relaxed with my hair. I had super mm. long hair recently. I just cut it off, and yeah. it grows so fast. So I'm easy going. But yeah. I do want a haircut that's easy because I'm a mom of two and I have yeah. a business. So I have mm. a busy life. I don't have time mm. to stand in front of the mirror for mm. more than two minutes. Yeah, right. Mm. So I want something I, that just takes care of itself, basically. Yeah, and I never looks blow great. dry my hair. Don't do anything. I just All wake right. up. Sometimes I wash it if I have time. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, okay. I don't do anything. I mean, it looks, it's great hair. Thank it you. looks really beautiful. And that's one of the things that I've seen when I've been, you know, watching your blog and all that sort of stuff that you always look really, really cool. And it's like this, this kind of understated, cool elegance, you know, mm, which is really, you. really, really nice. So I think we don't want to sort of, we don't want to change that. We don't want to go and sort of like do something just for the sake of it. Yeah, I think it would be nice just to get a little bit more shape around the front. Uh -huh. and, and we just like, sort this length out a little bit so it's do it working for you a little yeah. bit more but nothing that's going to take any time okay or anything like that so we'll Good. do something nice and simple and, and cool all right well let's um let's take our bulla yes and uh and go and do some hair awesome we'll start there perfect all right Love it. i know you don't do colors but do you like my colour right now? Yeah, I think it's I... wicked. Yeah? Yeah, I love it. Okay. I like colours when they're not sort of trying too hard. Yeah, because I want it to be as natural as possible so yeah. I can go six months without doing anything, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. And I think, you know, that's the thing as well, you know, also with your haircut is that you have something which is, um, it looks cool and it has attitude, but it doesn't look like you're really trying. I'm not trying. No, it should, <laughs> no, exactly. You're not, right? And it should just be there and be part of you. Yeah. Um, you know, That's very much like your style. Yeah, relaxed. Uh, yeah, relaxed, but still but with the edge to it, you know. It's not exactly. just relaxed. No. It's not like Mulle Claire Day. <laughs> not that, that relaxed. Anina, do you like it hot? I do, actually. Good. And how about, how do you like your water? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so Anina, mm -hmm. you were saying that you wash your hair like once a week? Yes, I try to don't do it too much. There's no right or wrong really, you know, it's very individual. If I was to wash my hair once a week, I'd look like a, I don't know what, an oil slick. It would be just often a disaster. Do you wash your hair? Every day. Really? Yeah. You, but the hair can get used, because I used to wash it more often, but... Yeah. No? You don't agree? No, it just doesn't, it just doesn't work for me. Okay. I, I have to wash it, you know, okay. but... Um, Generally, sort of like if you do it three times a week or something like that, that's okay. that's cool. Once yeah. a week is even better if you can get away with it, you know. I feel my hair has gotten stronger after I started washing it only once a week. Yeah. Does that make sense? Or am I just it does. No, it does. You know why? Because like the best conditioner, it's the sebum, mm. which is like the oil that comes from your scalp naturally. Okay. So if you're brushing your hair and getting that through your hair, it's mm -hmm. really, really good for it. Okay. If you're going to wash it once a week, yes. then you should use like a really good exfoliating shampoo, like something that what? super deep cleanses what it. What brand is the best? In, in this sort of like genre, I like Kevin Murphy. Yeah. It's a, a shampoo called Maxi Wash. Okay. And you've got two added bonuses. One, that it cleans the hair really well. It's lightweight. And it cleans the colour. Mm. Like, it's bizarre how if you take, you can take blonde hair yeah. and you do a couple of washes of Maxi mm -hmm. Wash and the colour is crisper really quickly. Ah. So in Sweden, I mean, this is really, really popular because it's, it really cleanses the blondes perfectly. That's great. Yeah. And people in LA can buy that too, right? Yeah, they can, yeah. It has no, no parabens, no sulfates or anything like that. So it's, it's uh, one of the better ones. Great. So, Anina Bing signing out now for the next five minutes. <laughs> so nice. Lost it now. So, okay, Anina, you're uh, you're Danish. Moved to Sweden when I was ten. Grew oh, up right. here. Yeah. Until I was. 
15, 16, and then I started modeling and traveling the world. Yeah. And when I was 21, I moved to LA and kind of stayed. So what, what, is it, what is it that you love about it? Like, Because I've never been to LA. You haven't? No. You have to come visit. Yeah, I would love to. Yeah, yeah I should. I love it. It just has a really great energy and people are really open, mm. friendly, and yeah, it's very international. There's a lot of different nationalities there. And I like mm. it. So you're in a band too? I am. Bloody hell, is there anything you can't do? <laughs> Well, not much. <laughs> well, but I love, you know, I love writing music and I love to sing. But recently I've been so busy with my two kids and my clothing business, so I yeah. haven't had that much time for my band. Kill Your Darlings is the name of the band. Um, yeah. But it's like therapy for me, writing music. So I yeah. need, I need it. You've got to do it, yeah. Yeah. That, that I think is something that is so cool with you. Oh. But I'm learning the more I get to know about you and, and talk with you is that you really just, you just do what you want to do. I do. And you don't really yeah. care about like the normal rules of no, I don't how you're supposed rules. to be. No. no, you do it the you way. I do the you oh, way. You the go. me way. ka -ching. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? I love it. I love the edginess of it, mm. but still easy, you know? Yeah. It's perfect. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really happy with it too. It's really right. good. I mean, now we've let it uh, dry by itself. Yeah. As you do at home. Yes, I do, yeah. Lucky you. Like, <laughs> I know you, you like dry shampoo. Yes. Yeah? Uh, that's good. And I think maybe one thing that we could try is just a very light uh, usage of uh, salt spray. Okay, cool. Because the salt spray sort yeah, it of... It makes it a little more textured, right? Yeah, yeah. It gives it more, more edge and more guts. Um, this one mm -hmm. is by Daveness. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's an Italian brand and it's kind of natural based and whatnot. And this is their best product, I reckon. It's a sea salt spray. And they okay. just sort of like repackaged and reformulated all their products except okay. this one. Okay. They, they left the formula. It's that good. So the way I like to use it yeah. is just lift up from underneath mm -hmm. and just spray in just a small amount mm -hmm. and just let it dry in. Mm -hmm. You can do it in wet hair, okay. you can do it in dry hair, whatever. And then we just like, squeeze it out. And it's better sometimes to make hair too big mm -hmm. and then let it shrink. Yeah. If you want to create, like say for example, if you want it to push back a little bit more through the sides, you want to create a bend, mm -hmm. just use your hands like that mm. and heat it up. Because the heat of your hands, it actually moulds the hair. Okay. And then you release and you let it stay there. Mm -hmm. Then you squeeze it up and you heat it up with your hands and let it stay yeah so it's a really cool way it's quite fun too because you're molding you're molding your hair just with yeah. your bare hands you know all right i know you know what this is dry shampoo yes <laughs> <laughs> top points yeah it's uh dry shampoo which is really great for your type of hair um, comes in two different ways you have like this uh the spray can so uh -huh. you just you know yes. shoot it out and then you have another variation which is more which came actually first which is like the powder mm -hmm. so it just comes out more yeah. more like a, a fine sort of powdery dust i prefer a spray in one yeah most of the time depending on the hair so you tend to find like the one with the powder is for much much thicker hair mm. and for the um for finer hair it's better with that sort of like spray in if your hair is oily and greasy you can just use it through there because yeah. it absorbs all the fat, yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, otherwise, you can just basically go in and use it as a styling product. And for that, we just lift in underneath and spray it in like so. So are you happy with the way it's looking now? I love it. It's good. So we just use like a really, really fine, lightweight spray. Once again, just lift the hair up like so, or while, the, while the spray is still wet, it's still pliable. So it's a working hairspray. So don't be afraid to go in now, okay. again, and just push the hair around into shape. It looks so good. Yeah, it's great, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. 
I'll show you a brush, if you ever do that. I need to know what brush to use, because I have like an old one since, I don't know. Oh, you do? Yes, <laughs> okay. I know nothing about brushes. All right, let me show you something about brushes. Okay. What is this? Mason and Pearson. It's like, uh, it's old English, like handmade brush. Yeah. Um, this is pure bristle. And they're really, a lot of, like every session hairstylist in the world has one of these in their pocket. Yeah, they're just the best. They create like a really, really cool texture. Not only that, they're really good. If you, so if you're not washing your hair and like conditioning your hair all that much, mm -hmm. you can use it really well if you brush it all the way from the scalp. Yeah. So you go in underneath, like mm -hmm. pick up the sections, go in underneath and brush it through, and it distributes the sebum, which mm -hmm. is the oil from the scalp, yeah. right the way through the hair. All right, it's great. It's perfect. Cool. Exactly what I wanted. Good. Well, I think we've shown as well, I mean, the haircut's one thing, but we've shown as well, like, uh, the people that are watching, that you can achieve a really, really cool hairstyle and a cool shape and a yeah. cool finish without, without having to blow dry. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, Good job. dude. Yeah, really fun. <laughs> As we talked about before, I want it to be simple and easy. So when it comes to my beauty products, I keep it simple. I love this product from Estelle & Tilt. Uh, it's a Swedish brand and it's all organic. I mix those two together, the serum and the oil, and it just create a really smooth, nice texture. Something super important, no matter how busy I am, I always wash off my makeup. This product from the Clarence, take off waterproof mascara which I use every day and it's just so amazing okay so when it comes to nails I love when they're perfectly done I actually do them myself because I don't have time to go to a salon and do it I did that before kids and business but not anymore so I have two favorite colors one of them is Lincoln Park after dark it's almost black and I only wear it on my hands because I have really ugly feet so if I do it on the feet it attracts too much attention down there, so that we don't want. Lincoln Park is the one I'm wearing right now. It's almost black, but still have that dark purple to it. But for the summer, I think it's fun to spice it up a little. I don't go too crazy, because these are more me, but it is fun to do something, especially on the toes, to do something pink. And this natural color is also super nice if you just want to keep it a little more mellow. Another favorite of mine is this hand cream from Bliss. This one smells delicious. Mm. Something else that I love is this one, lip balm from EOS. What else? Oh, in the summer, I like shiny legs. It's a really great product just to add on your arms and legs, just to give that a little bit of shine. Eye makeup. I love simple in the face, but I love when it's a little smoky and more going on on the eyes. Deep blue mascara. Where's the blue mascara? Do, 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 do. Then I put a little bit of black on top of it. So black out here. I like that. Okay, when it comes to my skin, I don't like when it looks too thick. This one is from Max Factor, but there's a couple of good brands out there. But it needs to be super thin, and I love when there's sun protection in it, so you don't have to think of that. And that's kind of it. Easy peasy. If you were going to recommend one thing to me then, some mm -hmm. sort of nice cream or something, what would you recommend? I would actually recommend the blue mascara. <laughs> <laughs> If I had any eyelashes, you'd probably see better. <laughs>